Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Makeup Fun with Olivia. I am super pumped about the product that I'm gonna be talking about today. It is geared towards the age-friendly, mature-friendly population. And we are talking about L'Oreal. They came out with this new line called Age Perfect. And I got a couple of things actually. I got the serum foundation, I got the concealer, I got some blushes, and I got this creamy powder foundation. If you follow me on Instagram at Makeup Fun with Olivia, you probably saw me opening the box <laughs> squealing with joy because <laughs> I get kind of goofy when I get um, orders in the mail. And I asked you, which one would you want me to try? The uh, Radiant Serum Foundation or the Creamy Powder Foundation? And I was kind of really surprised that most people said this one. I think it's because you guys have already been seeing a lot of YouTube videos on this one. So if you still want me to do this, let me know in the comments down below. But today we're gonna be looking at this one. So here's a little bit about this Age Perfect Creamy Powder Foundation. So L'Oreal says that it is formulated with a ceramide antioxidant complex and minerals. It blurs pores and lines and keeps skin hydrated with a shine-free finish, evens tones and provides natural coverage that won't cake or settle into lines. Finally, makeup specially designed for mature skin. Yes, yes. Instantly upon application, lines pour, lines, pores, and dark spots appear blurred, leaving skin with a satin shine-free look. That's what it says. Um, provides buildable coverage with a matte finish. So today I'm gonna to be trying this on. I will let you know, I'm not a pressed powder foundation gal. I have always wanted to try those matte, uh, MAC pressed foundations um, because they look like they have a lot of coverage. I've just, I've just always been too scared because I feel like they would make me look very cakey and very heavy on my face. So I was always scared to try it, but I don't know, something about this one just called to me and I thought, let's try this. This is geared towards the mature community, people with wrinkles. <laughs> I'm 50 years old, so there are wrinkles. Anyways, we're gonna be trying this today. Another thing that we're gonna be trying today are two of the blushes. Now, the blushes are called Age Perfect Radiant Satin Blush. I have a couple of them here. One of them is in the color Peony 415 and the other one is in 420 Marigold. And the reason I wanna use both of these today is because this one is kind of more matte and this one is a little has a little bit more sheen. Um, actually, let me do some swatches for you. I didn't do a swatch of the foundation. I'll do that too. Let's do a swatch of this Marigold. Woo! <laughs> yeah, that's pigmented. And then the Peony. And see, you can see right here that it has a little bit more sheen than this one does. So we're gonna try those two on today. Spoiler alert. You're kind of seeing it already. You're getting a preview. <laughs> Let's do a swatch of this foundation. The color that I got it in is 310 Nude Beige. That's what it looks like. Oh, okay. All right. Now, L'Oreal has 16 shades on their website. This is the third one in, so only two lighter shades than this. Um, but there are some more medium ones and some darker ones. So, you know, take that all with a grain of salt. Um, the pricing on this, it is listed for $15.99. Of course, it depends on where you get it, but yeah, $15.99 um, is the price on the L'Oreal website. The blushes come in a total of six different colors and they run for $12.99 on the L'Oreal website. Okay, let's jump in and try these and at the very end of the video, get my final first impressions. So if you wanna see how this look came together, keep on watching. Okay, here we go. I feel like I look a little bit scary. Um, I put on my eyeshadow and it always looks scary before you put on your foundation. And um, yeah, so let's get started. I am gonna use my Lime Life um, sponge. I'm loving this sponge, it's really good. I should talk about this in another video. But um, it's a little bit dirty on one side, but I'm gonna use this side, the clean side. I'm not using a brush because I'm not a brush foundation kind of gal. And um, this is the first time for me using a pressed foundation. So let's see how it goes. 
Oh, I forgot to mention, I wanted to mention, um, the only thing I have on my face is my moisturizer. I did put on some concealer um, here because I have a lot of darkness here, you guys. Um, and then my Paula's Choice Smoothing Primer Serum. So those are the only things that I have on my face. And that's why you're not seeing a whole bunch of uh, redness because I typically have a lot of redness. Now, upon first impressions, you guys, wow, that's some decent coverage without it making my wrinkles stand out. And by decent, I mean, you know, it, it's kind of evening out. Um, it's definitely not, I wouldn't even say medium coverage. It's, this is light coverage, but it's kind of really nice. I've never used that um, cream, that pressed cream or pressed powder, I'm not sure foundation by MAC, but I'm kind of feeling like this would be something very similar to that. I've always wanted to try the MAC one, so maybe now's a good time to kind of compare it to this. I keep on going over it and putting more. Okay, I feel like in real life, if you, you can put too much, and I think I went a little bit over, so I'm gonna stop but that first layer was very nice. Um, very, very light coverage for sure. It doesn't feel heavy. I mean, it's already set. You don't have to set it. I'm feeling like if you like very light coverage or just to run out, I'm feeling like this would be very nice. Um, you feel like it just kind of evened it out very lightly. You can definitely still see, you know, my dark spots. Um, yeah, so this would definitely be for a light coverage kind of day. Okay, you guys, I went to go get my blush brush so I could come back and put it on. I perspire a lot. I've mentioned that. Can you see that? The powder, <laughs> it dried on top of my perspiration and that does not look good. I don't know if you can see it. I hope you can. But yeah, that's that's not a good look. I suppose I can do this, but what if I'm out and about and I don't see that? What if I perspire again? Okay, that it, it blended in very nicely. I can still feel it on my face, but um, yeah, that's a little bit concerning <laughs> because I do perspire a lot and get my hot flashes. I'm 50, going through perimenopause. Anyway, so um, I'm gonna use my Bobbi Brown blush brush, and I have two blushes. I got the 420 in Marigold and 415 in Peony. I couldn't decide. So I'm gonna try to use them both because I think this has a little bit of sheen on it. Um, and let's see how this one goes. I think I'll be okay with orange blush. Okay, so I don't know if you can see it on camera, but that's quite pigmented. In this mirror right here, I'm seeing that. And I didn't even pick up that much. Whew, okay. So I definitely like the color. Yeah, it looks nice. I'm scared to put the peony on top now. <laughs> okay, so let me, I'm gonna turn around the brush and try to use a clean side. Kind of layer that. Okay, that dusted up a little bit. Yeah, that has a little bit of sheen on it, but it looks like it dulled down the one underneath, which might not be a bad thing. I don't normally put on my blush before my 
you know, my a little bit bronzer, my eyeliner and everything else. This is kind of what I do last, but just for today, I wanted to go ahead and, and put it on. And I have this one fa pressed foundation, actually. Um, I'm gonna bring it so I can show it to you guys, but it is by It Cosmetics and it's very light. It might be a finishing powder, actually. And for when I wanna just go out, I just dust that on lightly so that I don't look like a crazy woman. This might be, this Age Perfect Creamy Powder Foundation might be a good replacement. I have to play with it because I'm not, I you know, I don't think it looks bad. It definitely blurs some pores, which is kind of nice, but that, you know, the perspiration, that kind of concerns me. Anyway, let me go put on the rest of my makeup and see how it all looks together. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Um, with all of my makeup on and my hair done. So here are my final thoughts on my first impressions because I haven't worn this all day. Um, I'm kind of really impressed at how much it does blur the pores. It's not settling in as of now onto my wrinkles. Um, so those are some pros. I'm definitely shine free. It doesn't feel cakey. I feel like I can touch my face. I don't feel like, you know, I'm gonna scratch or something and the foundation's gonna come off. You know, sometimes you wear some foundations that feel like that. It doesn't feel like that. It feels like I'm not wearing anything. It played really well with my other products. Um, for example, I put a little bit of this Physicians Formula, the cream bronzer, the sculpting bronzer. It played, It. I didn't feel like it moved or like it came off or anything. Um, what else? Um, I did use some powder bronzer on the edges. I used my Lorac Pro. Um, so it plays really well with both cream and powder products if you use them. Um, overall, I'm kind of really impressed upon first impressions. The only negative or con that I have is when I perspired and it bunched up here. Now I did just kind of blend it in, which is kind of gross, I know, but you know, and I haven't perspired again. So that's the only thing. I'm, I'm kind of worried that if I perspire again, is that gonna show up again? But other than that, you guys, I find this really nice, very mature friendly, um, in person. It's not one of those foundations that looks nice in the camera and in person it doesn't. It, I, I feel like, you know, I'm looking at myself in my mirror and I feel like it looks very nice. So I don't know what it's gonna look like over the long run, I'll keep on sharing with you via Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, it's Makeup Fun with Olivia. Um, I tend to show more, you know, after a few hours there, but this is just my first impressions. Um, I definitely am impressed and like, and this actually might be my new go-to for just stepping out really quick, just powdering on really quick. Um, you know, another con, if you like full coverage or medium coverage, this is not it. Um, I feel like if I would have kept on going and layering, it would have looked too cakey. So this is definitely light coverage, light coverage. Cause I think the Mac ones are, you know, there's plenty of coverage with those, I believe, but this is light coverage, which I kind of like. Um, so you can see my age spots. You can see some of my pink redness coming through. Well, maybe not right now because of, um, of the blushes right now, by the way, I really like these blushes. I like how they combine with each other. This one is definitely not shiny. I was a little bit scared that it wouldn't go with, with my skin tone, but I feel like it did. Um, and you know, I did put a little bit of the peony on top, but, um, and what's this one called again? This one's Marigold. The Marigold is really flattering and I feel like it's pigmented enough where if you have darker skin tone, you can still use this. Cause if you remember when I put it on, I was like, whoa, that's pigmented. So I went very lightly. Um, and then if it goes too dark for you, you can just, you know, layer this on top and it, it just kind of softened it up again. So I really like these two. Again, upon first and fresh first impression. I did buy some other products as well from this same line. Um, one of them is the Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation. I know you've been seeing a ton of videos with these. If you're interested in me doing a first impressions on this, let me know. I also got the concealer. So 
I could do another video. If anybody's interested, please comment down below and let me know. Otherwise, you'll be seeing them on my Instagram story. Please let me know if you've tried this Age Perfect Creamy Powder Foundation and if you liked it. I, again, I'm, I'm impressed. I like it so far. Um, I love that they're making something for the mature community too. I think that is fabulous. Bring it on, bring us more stuff. We want more stuff to try, right? <laughs> more age-friendly products. Okay, thank you so much for joining me and I'll talk to you later. Bye.